Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode right here on Should You School and today we're talking about the University of Waterloo. Welcome back. If you haven't liked or subscribed to our channel and you're seeing us for the first time, I hope you like this video and by the end, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. So today we're going to be talking about the University of Waterloo and this university is a public research university. It's extremely famous for its amazing co-op programs. I'm sure you've heard about it and that's probably why you're here watching this video. This university has six faculties which include the arts, engineering, science, math, environment, and applied health sciences. This university also has eight student residences. So that's a lot of residences for students. Now, the truth about Waterloo is that it's that university that a lot of technologically advanced students, what I mean is a lot of students who like science and technology really wanna to go to that school from their high school. So it's mostly comprised of undergraduate students as a majority of the school's population. Waterloo also offers a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot of masters and doctoral programs. So if you want to continue your studies, you can definitely find what you're looking for at the University of Waterloo. Now, I know some of you are wondering, but Peter, where is the main campus? Where is this university? Guys, it's in Canada. I know we all know that, but it's located in a place called Waterloo in Ontario. Weather is usually warm to hot in the summer, like kind of humid, and there are cold winters. I know cold is a relative term, but for me, it is cold as heck. And I know for other people, it is also super cold. The temperatures range from 6 degrees to negative 3 degrees in winter, but I know for sure that it feels much lower than that and it does get lower than that so if you're gonna go to that school please come dressed like have a locker room just for the winter and in the summer it goes from 19 to 26 degrees in the summer so it's it's pretty good in the summer uh like it's it's, it's a good temperature in the summer sometimes it even gets a little bit too hot depending on your body type or how you're feeling but it, it is a good balance in the in the summer so don't be scared about the summer, you should worry about the winter. Now, now the big question is, Peter, how expensive is this school? And I am here to tell you that this school is only $14,000 for international students and only goes up to $22,000 for international students. So if you're an international student, it's not that expensive. It's just from $14,000 to $22,000. You know I'm kidding, it's super expensive and I don't like that, but it is what it is. It is expensive and we just have to deal with that for now. But for if you're a Canadian or you have, a, if you're a Canadian or you have a permanent residence um, as an undergrad student, as of 2018, it goes from $3,000 all the way to $9,000 per term. But if you're an international student, like I said before, you're looking at $14,000 to $22,000 per term. That is a lot of money. But the question is, is it worth it for the University of Waterloo? Is all this money worth it or should I go to a different school? The truth is that answer is up to you. Now, if you want to know more specific fees for your program, you would need to check the link in the description below. Now, I'm sure you guys already know that University of Waterloo is very respected, but it also has a powerful reputation. For example, in 2017, according to the academic ranking of world universities, the university was ranked between 201 to 300 in the world and between number nine to number 11 in Canada. In 2016 to 2017, the Times Higher Education of World University Rankings placed Waterloo 173rd in the world, which is pretty good, and seventh in Canada. So 173rd in the world and seventh in Canada. And 2018 QS World University Rankings ranked this university as 152nd in the world and seventh in Canada. So the University of Waterloo is really, really up there with the world's best universities. Now I just want to let you guys know some things you should know about the University of Waterloo. 
The first is that there are a lot of Asians at the school. Uh, I know there's the stereotype of the fact. I know that it is stereotypical to say that Asians are smart, but we do have a lot there. And the thing about the school is that if you don't have good grades, you probably won't get accepted into the University of Waterloo. Now, I can't tell you exactly what the requirements would be for what you want to study, but you do have to have very, very good grades to get into the University of Waterloo. Second thing is if you desire to learn about software development, you have to go to Waterloo. Just sign up immediately because when you do sign up for software engineering or computer science at the University of Waterloo, you'll be in a tech community. Truth is the University of Toronto doesn't really compare that much to the University of Waterloo when it comes to that technological community. There are some people who have hated their time at the University of Waterloo just because of how many hours they spent studying. But when you look back, it can be worth it. In fact, it is worth it because I know that there's something that people complain about <laughs> and it is the geese. There are just so many, <sighs> those birds, they're just everywhere. The good thing is, you know, once you have the University of Waterloo on your credentials, like you're automatically employable, like everybody wants to employ you. And people at Waterloo, they really just basically get recruited into places like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, etc., etc. So the University of Waterloo can be on par with MIT, Harvard, CMU, and even Stanford when it comes to getting employed in these big, big companies. This is mostly because of the co-op program, just the sheer strength. The sheer strength in the co-op program gives it that edge. The truth is, it really depends on what you want in your career. Waterloo gives you a huge, huge, huge advantage in your career, especially in the technology industry. So if you're a strong student, you're intelligent, and you're ready to get your goal, then you're sure that when you go to the University of Waterloo, you will come out in fine colors and you will be successful and you will get those top, top jobs at top, top companies. I just want to let you guys know some things because not all that glitters is gold. There's some things about the University of Waterloo that you might not really like. Number one, people are constantly studying. People are just studying every single time of the day. Like even in the coffee shop, people are just doing their homework. People aren't even very friendly. For example, you can be sitting down next to someone at lunch and they won't even talk to you. Like they're just listening to what they want to listen to, watching an episode on YouTube or doing something else, but they're not having real conversations. It's such a huge university and it's really, really easy to get lonely. So in conclusion, the University of Waterloo is what you decide to make of it. You should be kind. You should talk to people you should be outgoing and you should make yourself comfortable in that university when it comes to dating uh the ratio of male to female is just off just off so don't think about dating if you go to the university of Waterloo. bye